Well, we're here in the valley of Slievenamon and um, we're farming 176 acres. We um, converted to organic in 1987, so we're over 35 years organic. We're a spring calving system at this stage and we're milking 90 cows. And um, for the last number of years, we've been supplying the little milk company. And because my son is with me here now, we're, we're, we've had to expand to make it viable for the two families. We also grow um, about 25 acres of, of oats for Flavins, which we've done for a number of years now. The land here is uh, very susceptible to drought in summertime. So in April this year we sowed 20 acres of multi-species. So we wanted to have a look at a couple of different mixtures um, trialled out on the farm. So we started off with our, our baseline, our control. We used a kind of more traditional grass and white clover uh, mixture here as well. Here. Um, then we, we added a couple of components to this and we kept up in the levels. Um, we, we used a grass, white clover and red clover mixture then as well and then we looked at a multi-species mixture so kind of the, the, the six species mixture that we see a lot of so we had grass, uh, our perennial ryegrass, timothy, red clover, white clover, plantain and chicory and then we had another more, a fourth more diverse uh, multi-species mixture where we added things like burnet, um, sheep's parsley and things like that into it as well so we had four mixtures to look at uh, giving us a good idea of what, what was performing on the farm. The four mixtures were sown uh, back in spring, so we haven't got the full picture yet. The lads have got about six grazing so far this year um, off, the, off the mixtures, but next year, when it gets a full year, that'll be the real test of it. And we'll have a better, a better picture of what, of what each mixture is doing uh, after the full year next year. We know from trial work in Chagas Grange that multi-species grows between 11 and 11 half tonnes with zero nitrogen. And we also know from the same trials in Grange on grassland with zero nitrogen, they're growing between five and a half and six tonnes per hectare. Mark and Pat have, have taken on board this year, which has been a huge task to measure grass from the spring of the year for the first time. So to date, we're now here heading for mid-October and they've measured the farm 26 times. In addition to that, it's going to give huge information back to the trial that were, that's been carried out here between ourselves, the Mulroonies and DLF. We know that multi-species has a more deep-rooted rooting system. We expect in the farm here that it'll grow down to maybe a foot and a half, two feet deep compared to conventional grasses, maybe growing three or four inches. And that'll have huge benefits in a dry year. It'll prolong growth at both ends. There was two different fields part of the trial this year. Um, one of the fields had a very good pH, so that just received a fairly heavy dressing of farmyard manure. Uh, and the other field uh, that got two tons of lime, and it also got a fairly light dressing of slurry. Um, regarding planting or sowing then, the fields, they were both in permanent pasture originally, or last year. Uh, we got about two grazings out of the fields before they were um, ploughed uh, in April. Um, we went in, we ploughed it, and then we used a, a disc harrow with a leveller. Uh, and then we rolled it straight away off of that. And the seeds were actually broadcast, but it's just a simple little broadcaster, and then rolled immediately after that. And we haven't uh, touched the fields since then this year, apart from a little bit of spot topping of some thistles. So we established a crop in early April, um, and, we, and we were able to graze it about seven weeks later. It, it took off very well. Uh, we found it, where the multi-species was, uh, it really suppressed the weeds, so it was a very, very clean field where one of some of the, um, the grass crops were growing. Uh, there was a little bit uh, weedier, but the first grazing got rid of the bulk of these. Uh, I did a little bit of topping on the grass mixtures um, in the summertime, but I never had to top the actual multi-species. I've been measuring grass for the last 12 months or 12 plus months, um, and I found um, after the crop established itself, actually saw growth rates of up to 100 in the multi-species whereas the rest of the farm was maybe maxing out in the mid 50s uh, at the best time of year. We suffered very strongly from a drought this year and the multi-species really kept growing long after the growth rates in the rest of the farm really slowed down and even in other parts of the farm started to burn up. The multi-species kept going for an extra few weeks and it really stayed green throughout the whole drought. Um, it definitely slowed down uh, eventually but it, it performed much better than the rest of the farm. So to date the farm has grown about six and a half tons. Um, we expect it to grow another ton and a half uh, this year. Uh, we probably lost a, about a ton uh, due to drought as well this year. Um, so based on the performance of the multi-species this year, we expect to see those perform about approximately 11 tons next year.
So I think the big difference we saw with the multi-species this year is every time the cows went in there, uh, they were going into covers of approximately, you know, 1,400 to 1,600, whereas other parts of the farm, especially the areas in permanent pasture, we were probably only seeing um, between you know, 800, 900 covers. So it, it performed an awful lot better uh, throughout the year. Uh, regarding cow performance then, they did very well on it. Uh, every time they went into the multi-species, you know, the covers were much stronger than we were able to get elsewhere on the farm. Uh, and we saw that in the bulk tank, so they were going up to two litres uh, per cow per day better uh, when, when they were grazing the multi-species. Or maybe you would see it like a day or two after they, they went into it. Um, it seems to be very, very uh, palatable because they really were able to, they really skinned it. In fact, it was nearly a challenge moving them on because we didn't, we were afraid we might even overgraze it, but they, it always, um, it came back very quickly. And especially you see the chicory leaves, they, within four or five days, you have a fully established uh, ch chicory leaf uh, once again. So our plan for next year, 2023, is that we'll probably uh, plant another uh, 16 acres of the multi-species based on how well performed this year. I'm delighted now with um, involvement with Chagisk that we are able to develop this further. Anything I said in the past was only anecdotal, whereas now it's going to be on a scientific basis. This year, had we been just stayed with uh, old permanent pastures, we would have been in serious difficulties.